All right. All right. Tell us all about your character, Elise, in the movie, because she is just wonderful. I mean, this must have been a great character to dive into. It really was fun for me. <laughs> Elise is a normal, sweet woman um, who has, we decided I have rose gardens, um, I shop at the farmer's market. I'm just a regular person. I have no, you know, there's no hocus pocus about her at all. But here goes my goose pimples again. <laughs> I guess that's why I got the part. <laughs> um, but she's tuned in to another world, other worlds. I mean, I don't think it's just one world. She's tuned in to lots of worlds. And um, I was very flattered when James offered me this role because it's a little bit different than other things I've had an opportunity to do. And the fact that she is just this just normal, energetic, sweet woman who has all this, uh, who's able to both be a follower and a leader to, um, and Sastis definitely be a leader when she meets, you know, Patrick's kid, meets Josh and his family. And she's got a lot of strength, a lot but of she's strength. very soft and, and kind and loving at the same time. And very motherly, mm -hmm. and um, Specs and Tucker, who are my boys, there was a little part that, you know, because of course for time constraints and stuff, but there was a little part where I, when I first meet Rose, I say, um, you know those boys, you know, it's like, kind of like I couldn't get them to shave, you know, we had sort of little colloquial things like that that were, and, and that sort of, even though that isn't in the film itself, I think that plays into our relationship. I mean, that Specs and Tucker, we're not just sidekicks, we're real co-workers and family. And, and you um, can see that relationship I, I, I'm glad you can, because I think that's needed, because it's about family, even though it's, we're a different kind of family than than Josh's family, um, that I, I understand there's, a, there's an empathy that I have with them that I don't think you, I would have otherwise. And I also have sort of an actress's secret about the character that I will never tell. Oh, that I, I thought I, you were <laughs> share it with me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. But, <laughs> but it, it gives, I think, a richness, I think a richness to the, to the role because I have a lot at stake, too, in telling them what's happening. It's not just me being a seer and I can tell you what's going on in your life because there's something about how it resonates into my life as well. Absolutely. And, and so I think it gives her more empathy for the audience too. Yeah, and you can definitely see that. And I mean, you're no stranger to the horror genre by any means. What really drew you to Insidious? James. Ah, uh, yeah. James Even Wan. Seen, James, Wan. <laughs> James Wan. James Wan. James Wan. James and Lee Winnell. James is one of the I think he's really a, a, just a true film genius. He will probably kill me for saying that because he's <laughs> going to go, oh, don't talk about it. You're not supposed to say it. But he's really got a fantastic eye. And Lee Winnell, who wrote the script, um, I had met James because I had done a film called Dead End some mm -hmm. time ago with Ray Wise. And James, unbeknownst to me, was a fan of that film. So kind of how you know you trace back, how did I get here? Um, he came to my house with a friend because he wanted to meet me. So I gave him a copy of Dead End. And cut to, he had a little prequel he was doing for an Xbox um, release, and he asked me to do it called Doggy Heaven, which is hilarious. Oh, which that's great. A, with a big sun hat and a gray wig and glasses and big boobs and a big butt, and I have a little dog named Miss Marple. Miss Marple? <laughs> Miss Marple, <laughs> and it's very funny. And I did that with James, just sight unseen. I said, whatever it is, yeah, I'll do it. Totally, I yeah. mean. And then um, last year, around February, he sent me a little note and said, what are you doing in April? I've got this script, and I'd love you to look at this role. He sent the script to me. I read it. This, I'm, here I am again, in bed. Goose I got up out of bed. <laughs> I took the script downstairs and closed it in a closet. I, before I went to sleep, I thought, like, I don't want to, I don't want to touch it. I know it's there. I already read it. I know what's in it. And it was a great role. And I, I told him, oh, if you get this done, it would be my greatest pleasure to be in, involved with it. So. And one final question. Uh, you know, you've got one of the greatest character actors careers out there. I could not Thank believe you. when I finally went back and was like looking at everyone's bios. You're, you're, you're the Magda in uh, Something About Mary. Yes, I, I am. I'm like, I didn't even but realize. these are mine, not those. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> but I think that that's Sorry. fantastic. I know. I'm like, you look great. You're in shape and everything. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I mean, that that's such a wonderful thing to be able to just, you know, sort of be such a chameleon in different roles. Oh, I'm so thrilled about it. Believe me, nobody <laughs> loves my career more than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's what, what's next? Um, uh, gee whiz. Um, I just did a little, uh, just a small role in a film. Um, actually, I'm not supposed to talk too much about okay. it, so I'm not going to tell you. But <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping this movie. I hope everybody goes to see it and gets on the ride and just loves it and is titillated by it and that their minds are opened up by it also about the possibilities of our lives and, and the have, paranormal and the paranormal and and also um, love their families and take care of each other and. And that it um, it sends me in new places too because I'm I'm raring to go. I have I feel like a lot I want to explore in my life in my career too. Fantastic. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Good luck with Insidious. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah.